talk about the central liquidity uh, management facility. Uh, two years back, we were having a conversation around structuring a scheme through which SACOs could have an inter circle lending, if I could call it, pretty much the same way the banks have the interbank lending. Because the situation as it is, if you speak to a number of players, they'll tell you the top tier SACOs are awash with liquidity, the smaller ones don't have, but there's no avenue through which they can do the lending. Exactly how far are we with this uh, structuring, this uh, arrangement? Well, quite some work has gone into it um, for the last two years. I've uh, been looking at, uh, we engaged a consultant uh, to uh, conduct a survey just to understand uh, the requirements uh, and if indeed that liquidity exists in the top tier circles as is always been perceived to be, which has come out to be quite true. Uh, and uh, just like any other financial institution, what circles in the top tier have been doing is, of course, to uh, save or rather to uh, to put it in the commercial banking sector, so to speak, um, and, and of course in other uh, facilities such as uh, TB and so forth. Now, we look, we've looked at uh, the situation and now we've come up with that mechanism which we should say that we are at an advanced stage. We've already looked at the law, we've uh, proposed the necessary legal and regulatory uh, amendments that need to be done for them to be able to do that. That circle A uh, has some liquidity and goes to circle B, especially the smaller ones. Well, but just in case uh, they default, then there was a problem. How do they address that? And any uh, discrepancy that may arise, how do we conduct the arbitration? Now, with what we are doing now, uh, because we are now at advanced stages, as I have mentioned, uh, these instruments right now are with the CS is uh, studying them with his legal team uh, with a view to giving their input before then, of course, we finally submit them to Attorney General uh, to begin the process of uh, legislation.